the antique crown of David, go lightly. This is the English Dematria, known as the Babylonian numbering system. Within, with it, you can paste any word, sentence, or Bible verse. Set the base, which is the multiplication number one, to any number, to 99,999,999. Let us look at a verse that most Christians will deny God in the flesh himself, quoting this particular verse, until the man of perdition be revealed. Reading Timothy 2.3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. The English gematria for the entire verse is 1381. In the Greek dictionary from 1384 to test, literally by implication, discern, examine, prove, try. So when we add the gematria of the verse with the gematria of the new pope, we have 1381 plus 201, which equals 1582. That number in the Greek is middle voice from 1537 in 2019 to hang upon the lips of a speaker. That is, listen closely, be very attentive. Well, every child molesting priest, as he is, can rest easy, as Francis has passed a new law. Anyone accusing a priest of child molestation or leaking it out of the Vatican is punished by two years in jail. That was July 17th, just this last week, or 717-2013. 717 in the Greek concordance, of course, is Armageddon. Now, quoting another famous verse, Here is wisdom, let him that understa hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. The gematria for that verse is 1451, and it means near, from at hand, near, high, at hand, unto, ready. So, in other words, right now. The number of a man, the gematria of 603 score 6 is 417 and that takes us over to Genesis 417. And Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Enoch and he builded a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. Most scholars miss the obvious. There are two men named Enoch and Lamech. The word Lamech is also the father of Noah. He lived 777 years. And the word city is found in the KJV 1611 only in 777 verses. 777 verses, the first city built by Enoch from Cain and the last built by the Christ. Revelation 22:19 And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book The gematria for the verse is 1880 from 1909 and 424 means to come up on that is return come again return So the verse is re re Telling of the return of the Christ. Sound advice, do not alter this book. The KJV 1611 reveals all things being the original authorised by a king who had the divine right of kings. Now before the conclave that elected Francis, Pope Benedict XVI declared he had met Christ through his Facebook page and then he lo later wrote an apostolic letter saying he was 100% convinced that Brian Lanigo Lightly Marshall was Christ reincarnate. He was arrested along with his staff on April 3, 2013. Father Giuseppe, 
Pope Benedict's friend and confidant was charged with treason, the penalty is death. His part was uploading to Facebook what Pope Benedict XVI asked him to do, the apostolic letter and the conversations that were occurring. Reports from the same computer emails were sent from Pope Benedict's email account from the men working for Francis, calling themselves investigators, who were not priests, hired by him, and they reported that Francis did not give a shit about Christ being back. The following are emails from the same computer and Pope Benedict's email account confiscated after Francis had his men kick in the door of Pope Benedict's the 16th Papal Office on April 3, 2013. The words in yellow are the investigators and in blue belong to Mrs. Marshall. Quote, You'd better stop tweeting the Pope Francis. No way. You think he is stupid? Why are you working for the devil? Wait and see what he has planned up his sleeves. He will kill you at any moment if you step out of line. Ciao, Putanella. Apparently means, well, ciao means hello or goodbye, but uh, Putanella means bitch. Wait and see what Jesus has up his sleeve. Your husband isn't Jesus, you know it. You idiot, you know he is, otherwise Francis would not bother. Francis doesn't care. He is just concerned that a great theologian is crazy enough that he believes that your husband is Christ. We are the ones that are doing this. You will go to the bottomless pit along with the Antichrist Francis. That theologian is Benedict. All prophecy, we are in Revelation 11.17. You cannot escape death. He isn't the Antichrist. He said he doesn't give a shit. It's probably us that are the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Christ has come in the flesh now, this time, is Antichrist and will die. How did you get sucked in by all of this? Of course, there was no response. It's been shut down at that instant. April the 10th, 2013. And the exact quote is, it's probably us that are the Antichrist. Little children, this is quoting from John again. It is the last time, and as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now there are many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest, they that were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you, because ye know not the truth but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar that he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son has the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us even eternal life. That was quoting from Second John chapter 2, verses 18 through 25. Mrs. Marshall's mother, Mrs. Margaret Hoare, when told the Pope had written the apostolic letter declaring he had met Christ, her husband, she replied, the Protestant churches would not go along with it. The Protestant churches would not go along with it. What would the members of a Protestant church do when across the road a Catholic church, who has accepted the word of Pope Benedict XVI, that Christ is back and has given the church the answers to the world's problems, while the Lucifer preaching pastors call upon them to not listen to the priests and nuns and all of the 1.2 billion Catholics who do. The following is a reply to Pope Benedict XVI who asked me what I thought of Vatican II. 
It was imp implemented in 1965 after being written, replacing Vatican I, a 1,400-year-old document. It took 2,500 scholars of the Church three years to write it. I replied with 49 points, named Vatican III. It took me 36 minutes to write. I'll just read the beginning and then scroll through the rest. I have read it before. Good morning, Holy Father. I have looked at Vatican II and based on my observations, the following is my thoughts. I understand the efforts and many minds involved, so I will keep it simple. The reorganised church must reflect my intentions and it is not an election. If you see the date there, this is Australian time, 3.13.2013 at 6.08.41 a.m. So this is the before the beginning of our day. We are eight hours ahead in Australia of Rome. This was before the election of the Antichrist Francis. He was elected on that day, 13th. It was Wednesday, the 13th of March. However, uh, Benedict was already speaking to the Christ in Vatican was already written 